Today, I'm going to show you how to stream multiple guests on your live stream using Zoom and OBS. And most importantly, I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac and PC because there are some differences in how you have to add the audio. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss a new video. One of the main things that people want to do when they're live streaming is add a guest because you can do an interview or you can just interact and have a fun hangout with a bunch of other people. And there are a lot of different ways to do it, but I notice a lot of people like to use Zoom. Because Zoom has a really high quality of video, it makes it nice to use. But when you're streaming multiple guests, a lot of people don't know how to set it up. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Zoom live streams, and most importantly, how to add your audio. And we're gonna take care of that first, because on Mac, you have to add a couple of things. So let's jump into what you have to do on your Mac in order to live stream with a Zoom guest. Now to add our guest audio, we're going to have to take a little bit of a detour here. The reason why is because I use a Mac and unlike a PC where you can add multiple audio inputs, a Mac doesn't give you that option. So what we're going to do is a little bit of a workaround. We're going to add a plugin called the iShowU audio capture device. It's pretty simple. I'll leave the link in the description so you can download this little bugger. And you can see that this has different versions depending upon what Mac OS you're using. But you wanna download it and right here it actually walks you through exactly how to set it up. So I don't need to do it here. The link is in the description. You're going to need this particular plugin in order to get your OBS to work. Once you have this plugin installed, the next thing we're going to have to do is set it up in our audio sources. And I'll leave a link in the description to this web page as well, which walks you through how to set this up. But essentially what this setup does is it combines multiple audio inputs into one. So if you have multiple guests or something like that, they're all gonna be through one input. Unfortunately, this is really the only way to do it. So this calls it set up an aggregate device. You can see when I set this up on mine, I called it multi output device. But the link in the description to this web page is going to walk you through exactly how to set up your aggregate device that's going to connect all of your audio into one. And you have to do this, unfortunately, on a Mac. On a PC, all you have to do is select your audio source. I've had a couple of people come back to me having trouble setting up the aggregate device. So right here are the screenshots of how I have it set up. I've been able to share this directly with a couple of people on Twitter who were having problems, and then they were able to fix them. The next thing we wanna do is add Zoom to our laptop if you don't already have it. It's pretty simple. I just do a search for Zoom in Google, then I go and I download it. The install is really straightforward even on a Mac because it is a signed application, so you just have to double click it and it installs. Really simple. It's going to ask you for permissions to add your camera and all that stuff. You've probably been through this before, so just go ahead and add those cameras. Now we're gonna to get to the most exciting part. We're gonna build our scene, add our guests, and get ready to go live. Okay, I'm gonna do something different than I normally do in these videos. I'm just going to add a background. I'm gonna show you that you don't need to use an overlay to create a scene like this. So I downloaded a background off the internet. Now I'm just going to click the little plus sign. I'm going to click image, and I'm going to go and find that image. Then I'm gonna click okay, and you can see it's this little background space image. You can also see that this image is 1920 by 1080. And that's for a good reason. I wanna make sure my background image is the same size as my canvas because it just saves on the encoder time. Now that we have a background in there, I'm gonna flip over to Zoom and I'm gonna click this little drop down where it says new meeting. And I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm going to copy the invitation. Now I can take this invitation and I can paste it out to whoever I want now I want to join my own meeting, so I'm going to go to copy the ID, click join. I'm going to put my little ID in there and click join. And I'm going to click test speaker and microphone just to make sure that we get the correct microphone set up. And so I test my speakers and that's all good. And then I'm going to test my microphone to make sure it's working properly. And then once I see that it is, I'm going to click yes. And I'm going to click join with com computer audio. And then I'm going to click it again. Now I'm going to click the little video thing here. And this puts up my video. And I'm going to click this participants button and see who else is waiting. And I see Monica's waiting. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and accept her request to join. And there she is, awesome. I'm gonna paste this invite to somebody else. And there we see Michael T. Panetta's joined. So now we've got three people. Let's go ahead and set up a three person scene. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a window capture. And you can see I get the wrong window here. Zoom has a couple of them. I wanna make sure that I select the correct window. Once you see it here, I'm gonna resize it up. Then I'm gonna turn it off for a second and I just wanna add my camera. And I already have one loaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that camera. Then I'm going to resize it down a little bit and I'm going to use Alt and left click to crop my image. Once I do that, I'm going to make zoom visible again and I'm going to crop Michael T. Panetta. I'm gonna use the same technique. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and slide over the edges until I have the exact kind of box that I want for Michael T. And once I have the box that I want, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move it into place and I can resize just that box. And I'm going to go ahead and click the plus again, go to window capture. I'm going to select that zoom meeting once again and click okay. This creates a duplicate. Now I'm going to do the same thing by holding the alt key and I'm going to crop Monica's box. And you can see that looks all right. But let's resize this stuff. We'll move it around. We'll get it looking all pretty. And now I'm going to just add a little bit of text to this. And it's pretty simple. I click the plus. I select the text tool. And I put in the name of the person I'm adding. Then I add their name in the box. I'm going to change the font here. We're going to change it to go bold. Then I'm gonna resize it and move it down below the person's box. I'm gonna do the same thing for Monica. And I'm gonna do the same thing for myself. And there you go, you have the makings of a pretty nice looking little scene. Now window capture is definitely the way to go if you only have one monitor. But it definitely will cause problems on your stream. You're going to see occasional glitching with the other folks' images. And this is just something that happens, especially on a Mac, in a window share. So what we're gonna to do to avoid that is this time I'm going to just do a display capture. So I'm going to capture my second monitor. Now you're gonna notice that everyone's image is a little bit darker. And that's because when I'm doing a screen record, it darkens all the other screens that I have connected to my computer. And since I put this on a different display, that display is darkened, so it shows darkened on here. But I'll show you in a moment exactly what it really looks like. You can see Jay was added to this call as well. So what I'm gonna do is use the same technique. I'm going to Alt, left click, and drag to make the boxes the shape that I want. Then I can resize those boxes. Then I go in. I use display capture once again. I select the display capture I've already created and then I just create a box for each person using the alt left click and drag to crop them properly. And then once I crop them, I resize them to the shape that I want and I can just move them around. Then I'm reorganizing everything and getting people squared up to where I wanna be and you can see this is the makings of a pretty nice looking scene here. Next, I'm gonna add some audio. So I go and I click the plus button. I go to create new, and we're gonna call this one guests. I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna drop down and select the I show you audio capture device, which we created at the very beginning. Now I have to go up here into my sound settings, and I'm going to select the I show you device. And there you see it is working. If I wanna hear it through my headphones, then I go up and I select the little volume key again, and I'm going to select the multi-output or the aggregate device that we talked about creating earlier as well, and that way I can hear everyone in my headpiece. Then I just have to go and add audio for myself, and we're all set. And here's what this would look like on stream. You can see that everyone is just as bright as they're supposed to be. It's only because I'm doing a screen record that it darkens out when I'm showing this. But man, the image quality when you use Zoom is really fantastic. If I were to set up a scene like this, I'd probably put a chat box or something over on the right hand side that would stream along with it, or you could put a widget or advertisements or whatever you want. Now, a couple of words of advice. You wanna make sure that you have all the guests who are gonna be in your live broadcast in Zoom before you start cropping everybody up. Because if you don't, 
it will move the windows around and totally mess up the crop. So just be aware of that. You should also be aware that as a free user of Zoom, you only get about 45 minutes free at a time. Then you either have to stop and reconnect or try another day. I'm not exactly sure what their trial is, but it's not forever for free. So that's just something to be aware of. If you're looking for ways to grow your audience through live streaming, you should check this video out right here. And if you want more information on different ways that you can add guests to your live stream, you should check this playlist out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.